Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm doing a Let's Cook a Lean and Green. I might be doing something I've already made before for y'all, so if so, please forgive me. But I do have new viewers. They might not have seen this one. So I'm making, it's called the Cheesy, what is it? Cheesy Vegetable Taco Skillet, I think is what it's called. I don't know, but it's delicious. It's got tons of vegetables. Um, it's got hamburger meat that's seasoned with taco seasoning and it's got cheese on the top, and it's really, really good. So I wanted to make this tonight for a couple of reasons. One, it's one of our favorites, but also it makes three servings, and that's gonna be very useful for me because here's what's happening this week. So last night I made some lasagna, which makes four servings, and so, um, so Scott and I can eat on that two nights in a row. But tomorrow night, tomorrow night, I'm gonna be gone. And so I'm gonna have my lean and green earlier in the day. So this cheesy taco skillet, he can have the one extra serving tomorrow and I'll have something else earlier in the day. Okay, does that make sense? Sometimes it's nice because like what I'm having earlier in the day is something he doesn't like. I'm gonna do a, a cold lean and green with cottage cheese. He won't eat that. So I'll either do that tomorrow during the day or I'll have my serving of lasagna or something, I don't know. But I like to have extras because sometimes I cook things that Scott doesn't want or I make things just like the cottage cheese lean and green. He won't touch. So it's nice to have a leftover just for him. Okay, so what am I making tonight? Here we go. Lots of veggies. All right, here's a little, um, here's a tip. All right, we use a vegetable conversion chart to weigh out our vegetable servings. All right, this recipe, the recipe comes from Sandy's Kitchen Adventures and I will link it and she puts in there you know, one and a half cups of zucchini, three greens. Well, it's kind of confusing because you cook it. Well, we know that the measurement is different for raw versus cooked. So there's no way, because you put it all together, so there's no way for me to cook it and then measure out the cooked vegetables. So y'all, I'm just using the raw measurement. It's not gonna be precise, but it's gonna be close enough. But to make it easier for me, what I do is I went through and I just wrote out exactly how much of each vegetable I'm gonna need. That way I'm not having to go back and forth, go back and forth. And honestly, if you if you have a recipe you use over and over, it's good to have this handy, just have like a running list. You know what I mean? And I might actually do that. Okay, I got a lot to chop up. I put all four different kinds of peppers, mostly because it's just pretty and colorful. And that's gonna constitute two of the greens for this. And then I'm gonna cut up some zucchini and we're gonna have some spinach and I'm gonna put a can of Rotel. Y'all look at my little tomatoes. These came out of these little banana peppers and this little jalapeno, look how cute, such a tiny little harvest. Those all came out of our little garden. And a couple of these tomatoes did too. The rest of them came out of my mom's garden. Okay, so I'm gonna chop all this up. I'm gonna ground some hamburger meat and then we're gonna mix it all together, put some cheese on top and put it in the oven. So here we go. I'm gonna get to chopping. Okay, here's a trick. I've cut my bell peppers up into big chunks, but before I dice them up, I'm gonna put them in the bowl, which is sitting on my scale. Can you see that? And I know how much it's supposed to weigh. Instead of dicing it and putting, dicing it and putting, I'm just gonna put them all in there until it gets to where I need it to be. Need it to be. Almost there. There we go. So now I know this is what I need to chop up. It just makes things a little bit easier instead of dicing and pudding and dicing and pudding. I don't know, I just like to do it that way. And then you can do the exact same thing for the zucchini. So put it back up here, zero it out. Cause I'm leaving the skin on the zucchini. So I guess I could go ahead and just do it like this. Cause this is, this is how I'm gonna cut it up. But instead of dicing it, I'm just gonna cut it in pieces like this. I'm supposed to have 2.98 in zucchini. And there it is. That's it. All right, so now I'm gonna chop this up. I didn't 
think that looked like enough zucchini. So I put it in a measuring cup. That doesn't even make a whole cup. And usually weighed is a lot more than this. I'm supposed to have one and a half cup. I think I did some calculations wrong. Hold on. Pause, y'all, I'm so silly. <laughs> it's supposed to be one and a half cups, which is three greens. So my, me my measurement's way off. I knew it would be. Actually, I need double what I've already got. Let me reweigh that. <laughs> That looks way better. I kept thinking, that is not enough zucchini because I've made this several times before. So yeah, so what I did wrong was this. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of zucchini, which constitutes three greens worth of zucchini. I was thinking one and a half greens. So that's how I measured it. Yeah, I needed three greens. Okay, so now I've got that all chopped up. So now I'm gonna go ground my hamburger meat and season it up with some Rotel and taco seasoning. And then we're gonna add these vegetables. And then I'm gonna put the spinach in last. We'll just keep going. You'll see what I'm Okay guys, I'm browning my hamburger meat. All right, here's the deal with the hamburger meat. It calls for 10 ounces cooked. This is a pound of hamburger meat, so it's, that's probably gonna be a little more than 10 ounces. So I'm actually gonna, when I drain the fat, it says to drain the fat. This is 96% lean, so there's never very much fat. But when I do that, um, I'm gonna weigh it to make sure I've got 10 ounces, okay? And then the funny thing about this recipe that I'm gonna link, um, it doesn't tell you when to add the Rotel tomatoes. So I just, <clears throat> after I drain the fat and weigh it and put it back in the skillet, that's when I add the tomatoes. And I let it cook for just a few minutes, and then I add in the vegetables, okay? Here we go. Browning up the meat. Um, the seasoning, the taco seasoning, you put in after you add all the vegetables. This is such a colorful dish when you get all the vegetables in here. I just love it. And y'all, if y'all don't have one of these things from Pampered Chef, you need to get one. I absolutely love it. I don't know what I was doing with my life before I got this. <laughs> It's the little things, y'all. It's the little things. Okay, I'm gonna keep cooking this up. Then I'm gonna drain it off. Add the tomatoes. And we'll go from there. Okay, so here's a little trick, tip, whatever you wanna call it. Drained out the, um, the liquid, all right? And then I weighed, I weighed 10 ounces. This recipe called for 10 ounces, okay? So there it is. but that leaves this little bit. So what am I gonna do with that? Well, here's an idea of what you can do with that. You just put a little Tupperware and save it, put it in your fridge. If you like the mac and cheese or the pesto mac and cheese or the chili or even the penne pasta, if you wanna use like an ounce of that to kind of bulk up one of those fuelings, you can put that and just remember to track it and then deduct it from your lean and green that night. I've done that. I've put like an ounce of hamburger meat into the pesto mac and cheese or into the chili. It just bulks it up a little bit. So it's really good. Okay, let's get back to this. It doesn't say in the recipe when to add this, so I'm adding it now. Not supposed to drain it. Let's get that all mixed in there. Good. Yum. Now I'm gonna add my chopped vegetables. Y'all, this is such a pretty dish. Look at how pretty that is. Mm. Now, something that, I thought I, I thought I knocked some out there. Something that the recipe doesn't say to do, but I do, is I cover this with a lid for just a few minutes. I like my vegetables not soggy, but cooked. You know what I mean? So, got that mixed in. Now I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon. Boy, it's thundering out there. The bottom dropped out a second ago. I'm gonna add in one tablespoon and one teaspoon of the taco seasoning, which is what the recipe calls for. Hey, Missy. She heard the thunder. She's like, Mama, what was that? This is a half teaspoon, so I'm doing two. All 
tank and we're just gonna mix that all around. Oh, it smells like tacos in here. Maisie, shh. <laughs> I wish I could see her down there. Let's see, it's here. They're all hoping I drop something. You can miss it. Turn that down, and we're just, we're just gonna let it go for just a couple minutes. Now I've gotta weigh out the spinach. Here we go. And it's gonna look like so much spinach, you're gonna think there's no way that's gonna fit in that pot, but it will. All right, I'm just using baby spinach, and I need 3.18 ounces. <laughs> There's a lot of spinach, y'all. Doesn't that make you feel good, though, to know that you're eating that many vegetables? It does me. It makes me feel so good to know that I'm eating that, that many vegetables. Okay, here we go. Let's go put it in the skillet. Oh, wow, y'all. That smells so good. Oh. This is really one of my favorite lean and greens, and it's a complete lean and green. It has all your condiments, all your greens, all your lean, everything. All right, now I'm gonna put this right on top and stir it in. And every time I do it in this, every time I do it in this skillet, I always say, oh, I should have got a bigger skillet because I don't think it's gonna work, but it always works. Because spinach wilts so fast. It just shrinks down. Now the recipe actually calls, I think for kale, but it says you can use spinach. I've never tried it with kale. Um, I keep thinking I'm going to just cause I, I wanna try it. Cause kale is so good for you, but I love spinach. So I'll always do it with spinach, but I don't know. If any of you guys try it with kale, let me know. Look at that. See, I told you it would work. All right, we're gonna let that go just a little bit longer while I grate up the cheese. Yeah, if that wasn't yummy enough, we're gonna put cheese all over the top. All right, I'm gonna just turn that off so that it doesn't overcook the vegetables and that spinach will continue to wilt. Yum. So the recipe says to put one cup of uh, reduced fat cheese and she's counting that as one lean. All right, so the cheese the cheese that I'm using is 2% reduced fat, all right, but I checked the macros on the back, and the amount of fat that's in this cheese, I know that I can only have four ounces to make a lean. So though she says a cup, I'm gonna put four ounces. All right, so I'm gonna weigh that on my scale. Let me just grate it up real quick. And I like to grate the cheese on things like this. The kind that's already grated, it's convenient, but I just never think it melts as well. I love this grater, y'all. Is that not the cutest grater you've ever seen? Look how cute it is. Oh, <laughs> I left the price tag in there. That's hilarious. All right, let's weigh this and see. Oh gosh, I gotta do a lot more than, I gotta do a lot more than that. That's not even two ounces gonna be, I think, about a half a block of cheese. But yeah, I love this thing in this uh, kind of cylinder shape. The cheese doesn't get stuck in there. It just all falls to the bottom like it's supposed to. Got it at Home Goods in case any it cute. Look at it. Getting closer. Y'all, that's a lot of cheese, but it constitutes an entire lean. Oh, very close, very, very close. Wow, it is coming down out there, y'all. Okay. 
That is almost perfect. 3.99, we're gonna call it good. That's a lot of cheese, y'all. Okay, when you're making a recipe like this that has several servings, it can be difficult to get a precise measurement. So this is what I always say, you can eyeball it. <laughs> okay, so this makes three servings. And so what I could do is just kind of eyeball three equal servings, just put it in a casserole dish and you're gonna get pretty darn close. Now you can get really precise like I'm about to do and weigh it out. So what I did is I weighed out the mixture, okay? It is 30 ounces, almost 31 ounces. I have three little casserole dishes and so each one should, should hold about 10 ounces and then it should hold about 1.3 ounces of cheese. <laughs> so y'all, anytime I've done this in the past, it's been a, um, a math nightmare. So we're gonna really hope that this time it works. All right, so I'm gonna measure out 10 ounces into this little dish and hope it works. All right, here we go. Doesn't that look good, y'all? I made a mess. Y'all, this might work. I love the thunder. Do y'all like rainstorms? I actually like rainstorms when I'm home. I don't like driving in it. Y'all, that is perfect. A little tomato right there. All right, so there's one little casserole. All right, y'all, let's hope I, I did this right. Success. All right, now I'm gonna add the cheese. Should be like 1.3 ounces of cheese. This might be a little trickier. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. All right, that's pretty close. Now these are gonna be the cutest little casseroles. Okay, y'all, this worked. Oh my gosh, it's perfectly portioned. Perfectly portioned. I think that looks right. I spilled a little bit of cheese, but I think that's, I think that's good enough. That's perfect, you guys. So now Scott will have one uh, for tomorrow. When I'm having my cottage cheese, he'll have one of these. If y'all can't tell, I'm a little proud of myself. <laughs> Those are so cute. Honey, wait until you see these little bitty casseroles. They're so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna pop it in the oven, 350. Uh, I can't remember for how long. Mostly just till the cheese gets all nice and gooey and melty. And then we will have a perfectly portioned full lean and green. Love it, you guys. You guys, while we're waiting, I wanna show you this candle. This is a Bath and Body Works candle. It's called Lakeside Morning. I just gotta give it a plug. I, I forgot I had it and I just started burning it today. Y'all, it straight up smells like, um, you know how pine trees smell in the woods, like when you're camping by the lake, <laughs> lakeside morning? Um, you know, pine trees like for Christmas smell one way. This, yeah, every time I catch a whiff of it, you guys, it takes me back. We used to go camping all the time when I was a kid and that's what I keep smelling. It's like, it's like I feel like I'm just getting out of my tent in the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, y'all, I love it. If y'all like that smell, I, yeah, it's really good. I love it. Lakeside morning. I just thought I'd share. Okay. <laughs> He's making fun of me as usual. Yeah. Before the camera. Y'all, if y'all can see what happens before the camera comes on. Yeah. Look, I made a cute little candle lit dinner. That's right. Look. Look at the ambiance. Can y'all see it? Look. Oh, uh, we got a wick out. <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> we got a wick out. Okay. Here it is, y'all. This oh, is so geez. stinking cute. They are. All right, let's dig in. This is cheesy taco, what is it? Cheesy vegetable taco skillet, I think. I'm gonna put the recipe down. <laughs> no 
Just that was Lucy. Not she thunder. jumped. No, she jumped off the ottoman and it slid across the room because we had to remove the carpet when we got Miss Maisie. I'm going to eat. Oh, y'all, look at all the cheese. Yum. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Just don't ask if you don't like vegetables, what's in it, because oh. you don't want to know, but it's really good. A lot of good vegetables. Don't you like the way that candle smells? Can you even smell it? Mm-hmm. Can you, what does it smell like? Candle. His sniffer's broke. He can't smell anything. Careful, Todd. <clears throat> oh, that's something I can't tell what it is. What, ocean breeze? Okay, y'all, we're going to go eat our dinner. Oh, shut up. He heard everything. <laughs> You're such a rat. Okay. I, see, I told y'all, he's constantly making fun of me. <laughs> y'all think he's so sweet. He's so awesome. This is what I deal with. No, anyway, he is so sweet. Okay, we're going to go eat our cheesy taco skillet. And I hope y'all enjoyed this Let's Cook Lemon and Green. Right. And until we get back together yeah. again, as always, y'all have a very blessed day today. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay well, and we're, we're out. out.